That's right over here to this photograph. Now, this is one of the only photographs in Chernobyl going to see of a public execution. It's actually illegal to take pictures. Big Sheriff Joe Perry here, if you've seen anybody out there in the crowd with a camera, he would confiscate it right away. Now, believe it or not, guys, but Big Sheriff Joe Perry is actually a man of science. That's right, science. And he was approached by these two scientists, came all the way down from New York. And what they're trying to find out is that, A, when a man's being hanged, are you still in there while it's happening? And B, are you suffering? Are you in pain while it's happening? So they asked permission to question this man right here. Now, this is Sim Jackson. Now, I don't feel bad for Sim Jackson. Sim Jackson's a killer. So him and his wife got into an argument, and he pulled out a straight razor. You know what type they used to shave with? And let's just say he cut the conversation with a rather short, as in ear to ear short. Now, of course, Sim Jackson agrees to be part of this whole experiment. So he has a nice long-winded speech, even holding his own flowers. And at the end of the speech, he says, I'm sorry for what I've done, and all my friends, I'll see you in hell. Heaven, guys. He actually said heaven. I don't think that's where he went. I think y'all know exactly where he went. So they put the noose around his neck. They drop the hammer. Sim Jackson comes down. Scientists waste no time. They rush right up to him. They say, Sim, Sim, you're still in there. You can hear us. Please give us a sign. Say yes. Make a fist. Sim Jackson, folks. He made it this. And they said, Sim, are you in pain? If you are, once again, please give us a sign. Say yes, make a fist. And once more, Sim Jackson made a fist. And he held it for ten long, agonizing minutes, folks, oh. until eventually his life left his body and he met his maker. Hmm. See, what happened was, normally they put the noose in the side of your neck, so that way we can drop it, break your neck instantly, right? Well, this one had it slipped to the front of his neck, opened up his airway, allowing him to sit there and dangle like a fish from the string out of water. For ten long minutes, the man was still fully conscious. Four minutes, he was unconscious, and then finally they declared him dead. Now, don't get me wrong, I know the man deserves every single minute of what he got from murdering his wife, I get that. But still, that also sounds like a terrible way to go, doesn't it? 